Hi, and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to sweep my chimney. I've never done that before, so it will be very interesting to see how I get on. At present the stove is in summer mode in that I've got various things stacked around it that wouldn't normally be there in the winter. <laughs> For example, I wouldn't have a plastic bag on top of the stove with some heat logs in it. <laughs> I need to tidy up the area, put a lot of paper and stuff down because it's going to be very dusty and it's very difficult for me to clear everything out of the way because space is so short. So I'm going to do that now. I've bought a massive brush, massive chimney sweeping brush to pop down the chimney you do that from the roof downwards so um, yeah <laughs> it's gonna be fun not the best way to protect my rug but it's all I had available at the time I haven't looked in here for some while I think I'll close the vents off first while I think of it Just give it a rake out. As well as the usual heat shields either side, I've also got bricks in here. The baffle plate is resting on the side fire bricks and I can see that one of them is actually broken. Yeah, but they both actually look to be broken. I don't think that's going to be an immediate problem as they should both go back in okay. Let's move that out of the way. Seems to me you need to break one of the side guards in order to uh, get the baffle plates out. Here it comes. I don't believe this part is actually needed. I've had a word with the marina manager, he's not aware of it. I've checked online, they're not included in the replacement sets you buy when you buy the baffle board and the fire bricks together. I can't see them in Chandler's um, spare supplies lists or anything like that. I think it might be something that you use when the flue is not going vertical but it's possibly coming out from the side of the stove. I know that someone will correct me on this, so I'm going to leave it out. Since filming that piece, I have discovered that this part is either called a smoke hood or a draft reducer. I've also looked at the Morso manual, which clearly states, in some cases, Morso stoves come ready equipped from the factory with a smoke hood, as shown in the diagram. Note, not all stoves require a smoke hood. Where applicable, the smoke hood must not be used if the stove is to be installed with a rear flue outlet. So that clarifies that point, and I'll comment further on the use of this later in the video. Now 
looks a bit gunged up and you are clean. It's easier the more you do it. You feel the resistance when you get to the bottom, so I know it's coming through. Well that was fairly straightforward, <laughs> now for the messy bit inside. It's a really miserable day today. I'm looking to finish off the stove which I cleaned the other day, I also cleaned the flue pipe. In doing that job I found this sort of half round cow which fell down. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be there. It fell because one of the fittings that was holding it in place had sheared off and my initial thought was how am I going to refit it. But I decided to do some research and I found an exploded view of the stove, which is a Morso Squirrel 1410 model, one they've been producing for about 40 years or so, and that part was not included. But I also found another exploded view where that part was included. Well, I downloaded the instructions for fitting the stove, and it clearly states that if the stove is being fitted into a boat, unless the flue height is 4.5 meters or above, you do not fit that part. So that should never have been there. And I would imagine, I mean, I don't know, but I would imagine the stove is original and that it's always been there. So I'm gonna put everything back, but not that cow. So I'm quite pleased about that because I think the fire will draw better without it. Now I did find cleaning the stove was a rather messy task. I would put paper down everywhere and I finished up with a bit of a mess on my rug and so forth. However hard I tried, I couldn't keep it clean. I have managed to wash it and tidy it up. So I'm gonna go back into the cabin, <laughs> finish this job off but I don't think it's going to be easy to film it. Every time I move, I create more mess. But um, I'm going to go and do that now. I will take some still shots so you can see what I'm doing. Now that I've cleaned the stove out, I'm refitting the fire bricks and baffle board. It is very important that the chimney is swept once a year. There is a risk of fire if it isn't, or the little bits of soot and coal dust which do sort of form a crust 
and restrict the um, diameter of the chimney flue do not help and it creates a risk of fire and it is important that attention is given to that. Well that job is done for another year, a very messy job. I have to admit I think I could have done it better. You will probably have noticed one or two areas where a little bit more scraping and rubbing would have cleaned some areas up better than they have been. It's a very very messy job. I knew that obviously when I started. <laughs> Cleaning chimneys is never going to be <laughs> a straightforward nice and clean job is it? But um, it had to be done but the coal dust is so fine and it gets everywhere. Try as you may to keep it out of all the nooks and crannies it finds its way in. It's the first time I've done this job. I'm pleased with the outcome. Next year I'll do a better job. That's all I can say. Having swept the flue, I then turned my attention to improving the appearance of the stove. I did some light rubbing down, particularly to the top surface, and then painted it with a specialist stove paint. The paint looks to be glossy, but it dries with a matte finish. I also provided new fire cement around the collar where the flue rises from the stove. Not quite the finish I expected, but nevertheless very effective. Having done that, I lit a fire as recommended to harden the cement, and the job was done. Many thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. <laughs> me getting a bit messed up, to say the least. Just remains for me to say, take care, and bye for now.